So tell me about what you're doing here. So we are uh, excavating at the back of Mockham Dovecote uh, to try and work out how this area was used um, and what exactly it was used for uh, before it was used as a farmyard. So I am the Heritage Engagement Officer for Eastbourne Borough Council, so I have a very varied job. Uh, sometimes we're here at, at excavations and I'm here talking to visitors that come and see us. Sometimes I'm out in schools taking objects out to uh, show children some of the amazing history that we've got in Eastbourne. Um, I do our exhibitions, I, lo lots of different things. So what's the most interesting thing you found here? That's a good question. I think the most interesting thing we found is a collection of scallop shells uh, that have been deliberately threaded together with a bit of copper wire. We don't know exactly what they are at the moment, but it could be that they're uh, sort of a rattle, maybe hung from a tree as a bird scarer. Uh, it could just be something that somebody's made if they're sitting here killing time, uh, a bit like people would make daisy chains today. Tell me about some of the challenges you face. Some of the challenges at the moment um, are actually working out what we're looking at um, because a lot of the, uh, the same with, with all archaeology, what we're uncovering people haven't seen for hundreds of years. So it's a case of working out what that's telling us um, and then what, what we can tell from the, uh, the objects and the, the stories that we're finding. Can you explain to me some of the things that we've got here? Yeah, of course. So some of these things um, here are what we found when we were excavating here last year. So we've got um, part of a bottle that was from the um, Crown Brewery. We've got a curry comb that would have been used um, when grooming horses to remove the hair from the brush. Um, we've got some of the things here um, are objects that came from the bottom of Mockham Pond when the pond... Um, was desilted a couple of years ago um, all of these things came from that silt and a lot of them are things that people have lost uh, but I suspect some of them are are victims of older siblings that maybe threw toys in the pond um, we've also got um, things like this stone roof tile um, that we think might have come from Mockham Manor which would have been just over the road from where we are now um, and it's quite a high status roof tile so it, it does toward, point towards it being from a really special building um, and maybe we'll find more of it on this excavation. So can you just tell me a bit about the cleaning process? Yeah well we have a bag with several um, bits in it and then we have to separate them with uh, metal and bones and then the, the ordinary um, pottery thing. So we have to do one with a dry brush and one with a wet brush till we get it all off and clean and then, and then of course you can see what, what they've uncovered. Sometimes it's a lot of, I mean I've got here, this has all got to be brushed off and that was all wash, washed off. It's, it's basically two types of cleaning and that. But they're all tiny bits, aren't they? <laughs> yeah.